Hey everybody, welcome in to another daily sports take. I know, I only did one day this time, but I can't explain. Yesterday, and really the day before, I got hit with a bug right after I did my daily sports take, and not gonna lie, I thought maybe it could have been COVID-19. For 24 hours, I was struggling, high fever, sore throat, I uh, just couldn't do anything. I was stuck in bed, and so I went and got a test yesterday. Um, they have those new rapid tests. So I was able to get my results in an hour, and it turns out that I am COVID-free. So now we're good to go, and I feel a lot better. I obviously must have ate something bad or some had some sort of weird reaction to something or a bad bug or whatever. But anyways, I'm not here to talk about that. We are going to stick on the topic of COVID-19 today, though. So if you missed any of my other daily sports takes, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, at Spurge underscore. You can see the lower third there but today i want to talk about the nba trying to make its return at walt disney world yeah so the nba has been out since march 11th when rudy gobert tested positive the day before on march 10th and they decided to postpone all games now other leagues followed suit and we haven't had a professional sports league in the big four the nba the nfl the nhl or mlb since then but the NBA has had many talks about trying to find ways to resume the season. The players feel like it's a waste of a season if they don't resume so they can name a champion. So we're not sure yet if they're going to go straight into the playoffs or play a regular season or have an expanded playoffs of the tournament or what they're going to do there just yet. But the recent plan that I think might actually work is they're going to have the teams play at Walt Disney World. Now they might expand it to Las Vegas as well, but I want to stick on just the fact that they could play at Walt Disney World. So this makes a lot of sense because ESPN is one of their big broadcast partners. ESPN falls under that Disney branch, even though it seems like everybody does. And for Disney, it makes a lot of sense because of all the crossovers. Imagine having all of the greatest NBA stars in attendance. And I'm not saying this would happen, but imagine if your one or two quote unquote fans there are dressed up as, I don't know, Baby Yoda or Thor or Captain America or... Boba Fett or whatever it is to help uh, promote your other projects that you have going on at Disney. And then for the NBA, it makes a lot of sense as well because now you can put them in a university type setting like Adam, Adam Silver has been talking about, according to Jared Dudley, who's a forward on the Lakers and heavily involved with the NBA Players Association. It would be like a university setting where the players would basically not be stuck there, but they would be able to not just have a hotel room. They would have access to all the gymnasiums. They would play games. They would have restaurants. They'd have rooms, and they'd have a few things to do around there. Now, they wouldn't be forced to absolutely stay on campus because I am going to call it a campus. It would almost be like an ESPN Disney campus there for the NBA, but most players would basically be stuck, especially the star players. Can you imagine if LeBron James says, I'm bored, I want to go out and do something. I guarantee you everybody in the Lakers says, nah, LeBron, you're staying here. You see, every team has a Dennis Rodman type guy that, you know, wants to go against the grain and do his own thing. I'm not saying they're going to go to Vegas or go to a WWE match out of nowhere um, like Dennis Rodman. Shout out to The Last Dance, by the way, for telling us those stories. But I do believe that this could be beneficial for the league. You see, they already have multiple courts in that university type setting at uh, Disney World. So for the NBA, they could play multiple games at once if they want. I believe they have three courts or you have one game on each court. You televise and you show one game. And then as soon as that game ends, the other team's already warmed up and you get the next game rolling. Next thing you know, you have a marathon. You could play six, seven, eight games, maybe even nine in one day. And for all of us that could still be stuck in quarantine when this happens, that would be a lot of fun. So to wrap this video up, I think the timeline here, based on what I've seen, um, just reading articles on the AP and The Athletic and all of that, and ESPN, it does seem that Adam Silver has a plan. Two weeks ago, he did say that in two to four weeks, he'd be reaching out to owners and players and telling them exactly what the plan is and whether or not they'd be able to begin practicing as a team again. So that was two weeks ago. So we should hear um, sometime this week, next week, or the week after. And then from there, apparently on June 1st, it's going to um, have the NBA give the green light to have these players go from wherever they are in the world or the country back to their team's hometown and then they can slowly have more individual workouts or smaller group workouts in the practice facilities and then by middle of June they plan to allow teams to have somewhat of a training camp that way by early July they can get games rolling and hopefully um, within a month or two finish up the season and then delay the next season so I like this plan for the NBA I hope it works out I understand I didn't have the full scope of the plan we've heard rumors about them splitting
splitting it between uh, Disney World in Orlando and Las Vegas. I haven't heard too much about the Vegas stuff yet. So once we do, we can do another video and see how they can uh, choose which team plays where I'd imagine you have the East versus the West or however that works out. But I think this could be a lot of fun. Let me know what you think down below in the comment section. And then as always, I'd love it if you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. So with that, have a great day, everybody.